in the maritime industry, mastering technical skills early on can set the foundation for a successful career at sea. Among these skills, welding stands as one of the most valuable, as it is not just about learning a trade. It's about becoming equipped to handle one of the most essential tasks on board a ship. We're here right now at the UMTC, United Marine Training Center for an event that I helped organize. It's a welding competition, but just for cadets. So it's a very basic thing. And it is sponsored by Unitor, Seaversity, and UMTC. The United Marine Training Center is one of the biggest and most well-equipped training centers in Manila. Having them as a partner for this endeavor made things easy as they have the experience and the resources to organize a welding competition. This competition was spearheaded by Unitor, the maritime industry's most trusted brand for welding equipment, as part of the celebration of the World Maritime Day on September 26, with this year's theme, Navigating the Future, Safety First. A total of 11 contestants were selected to participate in the competition. They came from different schools, but all of them had one thing in common. They were all still cadets. And as such, their skills will understandably still be at the basic level. A short program was held at the receiving area to welcome the cadets and also for a toolbox meeting to brief them about the mechanics and rules of the competition. After all of the details have been explained, we all proceeded to the welding facility. True to this year's World Maritime Day theme, navigating the future safety first, emphasis was placed on using the proper personal protective equipment. Once all the cadets have worn their PPE, they were given a practice plate and a few electrodes as a warm-up before the actual competition begins. After the warm-up, the objectives were explained to them. The criteria is simple. Tack both ends, then fillet weld 2F single pass on one side, then 3F double pass on the other. They were given 45 minutes to complete this task. And now, the competition begins.
Upon initial observation, the cadets have varying degrees of proficiency in roving. The single pass was fairly easy for most of them, with some delivering exceptional output. The real challenge was on the second part, the 3F double pass, which proved quite a challenge for a lot of them. Okay, so our boys are done with their welding, and it's time to judge their work. After completion, their plates were laid down to be inspected by the judges. First, second, third, no? Their work was thoroughly scrutinized, but still keeping in mind that these plates were done by beginners. Only three contestants will be given awards in this competition. After a tight selection, the three best plates were selected. Back in the receiving area, a short debriefing was carried out to reinforce some key welding concepts. This is a valuable feedback as it will help the cadets to improve their technique in the future. Before awarding the winners, tokens of appreciation were of course given to our esteemed judges. They each received Autodark welding helmets from Unitor. <laughs> Shortly after, the winners of the competition were given their awards. The three winners each received Autodark welding helmets from Unitor, cash prizes, and some bonus merch from Captain Ellie Apparel. This is the first competition of this kind that I have ever organized, and although quite simple, I believe a lot of things have been achieved after its conclusion. First and foremost was the opportunity extended to the cadets, who came from different backgrounds, to showcase their welding skills. But I think the most notable accomplishment is the collaboration between three companies to organize an event that highlights capabilities of the Filipino seafarers. This welding competition for cadets may just be the opening salvo of bigger things to come. On behalf of Seaversity, United Marine Training Center, and UNITOR, this is Chief McCoy wishing everyone a happy World Maritime Day. <laughs>